Hi all, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your daily vibes for oh, what is it? June 13th. The new moon in Gemini. Wednesday, June 13th. Big 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 changes are happening. Changes that you can't resist. Okay. Irresistible changes, something that you can't prevent. Things that need to happen are happening. I have a bunch of new services if you are interested. I did a video on that. Um, keep in mind that the timing is fluid on these daily vibes whenever it resonates with you. Queen of Wands, Princess of Wands, Princess of Pentacles reversed, the Hierophant, the Queen of Swords, wow, wow, look at the people involved, son of a gun. There's, there's definitely a few people involved in a decision that needs to be made. Um, somebody could get hurt, okay, because somebody needs to follow their passion, okay, and, and do the right thing, and they haven't been doing the right thing. Somebody hasn't found the, their backbone to, to do the right thing, but they know what the right thing is to do. Interesting, interesting. There could you could be receiving a message or an invitation that is very exciting. Okay, put it that way. Um, but you may have your guard up from accepting it. You you know you could be receiving some sort of some message um, or or invitation that is is it's exciting and it's and it's uh, calling your name. You know it's something that you want. But you you have these fears that, you know, is this person being honest with me? Are they telling me the truth? Do they, have, they, are they, have they really even, do they even really, really know what they're doing? And I have to say that they probably are following their gut. They're following their inner guide. They, they're, they're following their higher power, okay? They've probably went through a period of learning. They've learned something, and now they they are following their their heart. That's what it looks like to me. It's happening very quickly. Something is happening very very quickly. We have the Knight of Wands, the Six of Swords reversed, the Four of Wands, the Hermit reversed, and the Magician card. Now the Hermit Reverse is right underneath the Hierophant. These are both like a, a kind of like a Jesus consciousness. Somebody went through a period of learning. They went through a period of, of uh, learning a hard lesson through solitude. They had to evolve. They had to go through some sort of inner transformation, a spiritual transformation to figure out where they needed to go in life to figure out um, what was going to make them happy, okay? So just let me get this zoomed in before I go any further. They needed to do this because they, they were stuck in their old ways, okay? They were stuck in their old ways and nothing was being successful. There was no success being stuck there. So I feel like now they have... Um, regained their focus through solitude okay they have and now they no longer want to be alone so there was a period where you were dealing with somebody who just needed to be alone to 
grow. You know, they needed to be alone to grow, to learn, to shed their own ways. They, and now they have. Now, with the magician card, they became willing to shed their old ways to, to um, become aware of who they really are. Okay? So I feel as though there is somebody in this dynamic who has, uh, who was willing to find the passion to bring success to their heart's desires. So they, they allowed their, their growth to happen, okay, through silence, okay, with the Hermit card. So they probably went through a period of solitude, a period of silence, which was making them aware. Now they have become aware, they have learned, they... they they um, sought out the guidance from a counselor or, or somebody from above or, or even inner guidance, you know. They sought out the guidance, they received the guidance, and now they don't want to be alone anymore. And they're probably heading in your direction very, very quickly. And this can go vice versa. You could be heading in somebody's direction. It could be working either way. Somebody is... Is, is no longer going to sit back and think about this. I, I see it clearly now. I do. I know I don't want to be alone. I don't want to grow old alone. And I'm going after what I want. They're excited about their, their, their new found um, person, who they are. You know what I mean? Somebody has taken action to shed their own ways, okay? And that took some time, okay? There was a period of solitude, wanting to be alone, needing to be alone, no communication so that, so that they could come up with the plan for the future, for what they want, who they are, who they want to be, the whole nine yards, okay? So I feel like today somebody ha is finding the confidence and the courage and the willpower to take action and they are moving forward very quickly. It's like I'm no longer going to sit back and think about this and stay stuck in this rut. I am ready to expand. I'm ready to go down this new road. So I feel like there is a new approach. Somebody has a new approach towards life, towards you perhaps. And it's, it's really positive. They're no longer wanting to stay stuck in that negative energy. They're thinking positive. They're moving forward. And they're going after what they want. The thing is, is, is this, there's been a period of time where they didn't act with integrity, okay? And whoever the other person is on the other side knows that they didn't act with integrity, okay? They know that there was, they didn't act with integrity, they didn't do the right thing, but in fact, they really were doing the right thing because they needed to work on themselves, okay? They had to. It's part of the plan. It's, it's part of the process, so, but the other person may be feeling like, you know, you left me out in the cold. You left me out in the cold. You've become lazy and complacent. You were lazy and complacent. You, you hurt me. You really, really hurt me. So, it feels as though somebody has... Um, probably has their guard up they're probably feeling like you know I'm not sure that if I can if I can um, let you in to hurt me again so I feel as though there's an opportunity for happiness here with somebody that you have known I think this is somebody that you have known that had needed time to think needed time to become aware of who they are and where they're going and what they want they had to become spiritually awake. They had to wake up. They had to go through some sort of awakening so that they could see things through a new perspective. And now they are probably um, coming, coming to you with true communication, okay? I believe that there is communication coming through, and it is truthful, okay? I don't think that this person is being dishonest with you. I think this person is is coming in um, perhaps to offer some sort of commitment after a period of, of not knowing what the hell they wanted. I feel as though somebody has found their power. They have found the resources to um, finally communicate, to, to tell it like it is, to to speak up, okay, they found the resources to do that, 
today you could be receiving um, some sort of message that is very exciting and um, I think it's honest I think it's a it's a message of how they truly feel because the Queen of Swords is very honest okay when she's in the upright position okay so I feel like there is um, a period, or there's a person, not a period, there's a person and a period, okay? There's a person that has gone through a period of time of introspection that has allowed them to figure out what the hell they want. And now they're probably headed in your direction, no longer going to sit back and wait. I'm going to take action to bring success to my life right now. I'm going to take action to bring success to my life. I am no longer going to be stuck in this period of isolation because I want happiness. I want happiness. And by me shutting it out, it's not the right thing. I, I can no longer not do the right thing if I want this happiness. So anyway, these cards, they can all say so much. It all depends on how I want to read them. Someone probably is getting the or has gained the confidence to tell somebody how they truly feel. That's what it looks like to me. Um, and I feel like it's exciting. It's very exciting. There's an exciting opportunity here that, you know, it dares you. You're, you're, it's like you are being dared to accept this offer with the Princess of Wands. It's like, do you dare? Do you dare? I think this person has acted without integrity in the past. So this is quite a dare. It's like, ah, I'm not sure if I dare. I don't, I'm not sure if I dare. But this is an opportunity that is asking you to act on your hunches, okay? And I feel as though that somebody has gone through some sort of spiritual breakthrough that has allowed them to grow into a new person, shed their old ways, now they're willing to take action and head in your direction and make some sort of offer, perhaps of commitment. I'm not sure what this is. This will not resonate with every single person because we're all at different levels, okay? And I want to get people's hopes up. So this may not be for you. It may or it may not. For some of you, there's an exciting new message or opportunity coming through very quickly in which another person has came to the conclusion that they're ready. They're, they're ready. They're, 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 they don't want to be alone anymore. They've done their work. I'm ready. Somebody's taking action. That's for goddamn sure. Excuse my language. Excuse my language. I, I, I can't control it. Um, but yeah, somebody is absolutely taking, a, taking action. They are no longer wanting to be alone. You know, I don't want to be alone. I don't want to grow old alone. I want a commitment. I do. I want this commitment. You know, I don't want to grow old alone. I want this commitment. I'm ready for this happiness. I'm sorry. You could be receiving an apology. You know, you, you. I'm sorry that I didn't do the right thing before. It was a mistake. They're going to come to you with the truth. I believe that somebody is going to come to you with the truth. And it's going to be quite appealing. It is. You're going to be very... Um, you know, you're gonna. It, it's a, it's truth or dare, basically. Um, it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. You know, do you accept this dare? Are they telling you the truth? You know, somebody is is has changed. They have. But I think that the person on the other end is, is really scared. Really, really, really scared. Um, of course. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. And that's what is it? It's truth or dare. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Excuse my language. You know I can't control it. I feel as though somebody probably has their guard up as this person comes trotting back in to offer them some sort of a commitment. But I feel like this person, you know, is um, 
is being honest. They are being honest with you. They they want a they want a um, they want their happiness back, and it is safe. It's safe for you to love and give them a chance. But I think that you will have your guard up for quite some time to discern this situation. So I'm not sure we're gonna get one more of these. Ooh, yeah. Let's talk about it. There, there's going to be somebody who wants to, there's going to, there's, they're telling you the truth. They're going to want to talk about it. You know, it's, let's get this out on the table so that we can be successful. Okay. Heart to heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. I feel as though today there's a, there's, there's a, there's an opportunity to have some heart to heart conversations with somebody that you do love, but you're scared of. But it's somebody that you want to be committed to. Okay. That's what I feel like today is about. I wish you the very best. Be sure to pay attention to the red flags. But above all, follow your heart. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Some people say that people can't change. People can change. Through silence and solitude. and soul searching and and seeking guidance people can change so anyway i feel like this is an opportunity for you know a new beginning and i i do also believe that this is something that you manifested the last card is is the magician card which is the card of manifestation it's a one it is a card of manifestation it it, it feels as though this is something that you have been thinking about Daily, your thoughts become things. There's no closure if you're still thinking about it. So this is why people come back together because it's either to to work it out or to close the door. So this is what I have for today. Good luck. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart. Good luck.